Ten years ago, W. Bernard Carlson, a professor specializing in engineering and history at the University of Virginia, who participated in the study of Tesla's handwritten manuscripts, posed four unanswered questions. Why could Tesla build a laboratory within his own mind? Why could Tesla perform those miracles? Why were there strange rumors surrounding Tesla regarding the death ray and extraterrestrial beings? And why couldn't Tesla achieve anything in his later life? In the previous episode, we only stopped at the first encounter between Tesla and Edison. The battle is still ongoing, and there are three major mysteries left unanswered. Since learning about Tesla, I have always been curious about the story of this genius. His inventions exist in our daily lives, from alternating current wireless technology, smartphones, computers, rockets, GPS satellites, spacecraft, to transformers, power converters, X-ray beam energy, and many other inventions. This is something we should remember Tesla for every day. So what is the truth behind all this? Is there a greater conspiracy at play? Today, let's delve into the truth about Nikola Tesla. Part 2. It was a day in 1887 when Tesla, disheveled and hastily, entered from a construction site into a luxurious hotel. Two high-ranking managers from Weston Union Bank were sitting there, furrowing their brows. Everyone said this young man was a genius, so why did he end up in this situation? It turned out that at that time, Tesla had been unemployed for three years. During those three years, Tesla first obtained a patent for his fluorescent light and sought a collaborator to start a company. However, this person not only deceived Tesla and took away the patent, but also used the company for mining operations and drained Tesla's savings. Tesla wandered the streets every day, only sleeping on the floor of a rented room for five cents, working hard on construction sites to make ends meet. But even in such circumstances, Tesla's laboratory within his mind continued to operate tirelessly. On one hand, he continuously improved the alternating current system, and on the other hand, he summarized Edison's secret to success from invention to product. Tesla gradually gained clarity at that time. Why didn't Edison collaborate with him? It wasn't because he didn't understand. It was because three years ago, there were still many agencies and large enterprises in the market that needed to install incandescent light bulbs, and using direct current would be much more convenient. Edison, this man, was ultimately a businessman selling light bulbs. He secured an order with a large enterprise to sell a power generation system and thousands of light bulbs, which would be much less labor-intensive than building a large-scale alternating current power station, selling light bulbs to each household, to every individual. However, things have changed now, and the demands of large enterprises have saturated. Whoever can capture the masses of people first will become the next dominant figure. Indeed, Tesla's analysis was not wrong. It was because of these words that Tesla successfully arranged a meeting with the two high-level leaders present here, but would Tesla seize this opportunity? The beginning of Tesla's story is incredibly strange. It doesn't mention technology or the market, but asks, do you know the story of Columbus Egg? During that time, Columbus was feeling discouraged due to poverty and wanted to find a queen to invest in his expedition to search for the new world. As a result, all the nobles in the royal court mocked him. So Columbus asked them in return, can any of you stand the egg upright? One by one, the nobles attempted to stand the egg upright in front of the queen. Only one person succeeded. When it was Albert's turn, he lightly tapped the egg on the table peeled its shell, and stood it upright. The queen, moved by Columbus' intellectual prowess, declared right then and there, regardless of whether the rest of you nobles support him or not, I will support Columbus in his quest for the new world, even if it means selling all the jewels on my crown. Both high-level leaders had heard this story, so Tesla said, I don't need to break the egg. I can make it stand upright. Do you believe me? With that, Tesla touched the egg with a layer of copper and then took out a peculiar table. The table had electricity on its surface, 
and the copper-coated egg stood upright as expected. Both high-level leaders widened their eyes and said, Although I don't have treasures on my crown to hold on to, the coins in my leather wallet can certainly help you. In this way, Tesla succeeded. No need to talk about rotating magnetic fields or changing the world. Just with a simple experiment and a touching story, everything was accomplished. The two high-level leaders introduced Tesla to George Westinghouse, the owner of the Westinghouse Electric Corporation. George Westinghouse was preparing for a battle regarding electrical currents. At that moment, Tesla appeared with his drawings in hand. After seeing them, without saying another word, right on the spot, the owner handed Tesla $60,000 in cash and stocks. He also stated that for each horsepower of an alternating current motor created, Tesla would receive a $2.05 patent royalty fee. Furthermore, there was no requirement for Tesla to work for them. The monthly salary was set at $2,000. In this way, George and Tesla shook hands and collaborated. After the Westinghouse Electric Corporation quickly declared war on the Edison Company, Edison was not one to sit idly. He immediately spent millions of dollars to manipulate public opinion, and major newspapers began attacking alternating current, claiming it was unsafe. Edison even planned street demonstrations, using alternating current to electrocute a horse. However, this was still not enough. Edison suddenly changed his political stance and openly supported capital punishment. This information quickly spread, and the media hunted for an explanation. Edison had always valued life and emphasized safety. So why was he now endorsing the death penalty? After garnering enough attention, Edison explained that he discovered alternating current was a painless method of execution. That's why he invented an electric chair, and the federal government eventually bought it. However, in reality, when the electric chair was first used, the convict was shocked three times and had to endure several minutes of torture before dying. George Westinghouse and Tesla stood on the other side of the stage. Of course, they couldn't just sit back and wait for defeat. Through mass media, I will leverage industry support. Under the guidance of George, the most grand and professional academic conference was organized for the entire media industry. In the conference, Tesla used the induction coil of alternating current to remotely illuminate a light bulb. Then he passed a high voltage current through his body. Compared to Edison's electric chair at that time, which had only 2,000 volts, Tesla's coil had a staggering 250,000 volts. Sparks of electricity emitted from Tesla's entire body, but his face remained smiling. He passionately declared that with proper control, alternating current was very safe. After Tesla's lecture concluded, experts in the field brought out Faraday's chair and invited Tesla to sit on it. The industry experts also told the media that Tesla was the child of the future, the only person qualified to sit on this chair since Faraday's passing. They even brought out a precious bottle of wine that Faraday had preserved and invited Tesla to try it. That was the highest honor beyond comparison. Edison couldn't bear it any longer. He resorted to the most despicable means, which was setting fire to Tesla's laboratory. All the ideas and drafts that Tesla had collected over more than 20 years were reduced to ashes. These documents held invaluable value. It is said that before being incinerated, there was a day when Tesla pulled out two ideas and quickly designed a multiphase electric generator. That was a revolutionary product that we still use to this day. Initially, at that time, a power station only needed a few types of generators to supply electricity to electrical devices. But with just one multiphase generator, it could provide electricity to all electrical devices. The combination of George Westinghouse's Electric Corporation and Tesla's miraculous invention helped their company quickly surpass Edison. However, Edison's counterattack did not stop there. He formed alliances with Wall Street tycoons, aiming to financially undermine Westinghouse Electric. However, in the terms of Westinghouse Electric's agreement, it stated that every horsepower of alternating current must pay Tesla a patent fee of $2.50.
So, over the years, Westinghouse Electric had an outstanding patent fee of $10 million that had not been paid. The financial giants in the industry disclosed this information in the capitalist market and demanded that George fulfill his promise. This was a carefully calculated plan of intrigue. Edison believed that with the temptation of $10 million, Tesla would surely part ways with George. However, if Tesla were appeased and the patent fee paid, Westinghouse Electric would immediately go bankrupt. George went to find Tesla, and Tesla didn't hesitate to tear up the contract they had signed years ago. At the same time, Tesla announced that he would publicly waive the patent rights for alternating current. In this way, Westinghouse Electric regained its momentum and finalized orders with support for the World's Fair exhibition. In 1893, alternating current was put into use, illuminating the entire exhibition area and astonishing the world. Afterward, Tesla and George went to Niagara Falls. Here, they built a large-scale hydroelectric power plant, the first in the world. They then transmitted alternating current to the city of Buffalo, 35 kilometers away. The whole city stayed awake all night, with electric lights illuminating thousands and thousands of households. Some said this was a turning point, marking humanity's entry into the age of electrification. Some even called it the masterpiece of the sun of the future. But is this crown too heavy for the sun of the future? Continuing the decryption, Professor Carlson finally found the answer to the third question. It was in January 1877 when Tesla visited George's mansion. A few days earlier, they had just illuminated Buffalo. However, Tesla stated that he wanted to withdraw from the field of alternating current because he had a grander dream, which was to research and develop wireless electricity on Long Island. What is wireless electricity? At that time, no one fully understood wireless electricity. Even our understanding of wireless electricity today is limited compared to Tesla's. Tesla said the following. He wanted all of humanity to be able to use electricity, but alternating current could not achieve that without the need for conducting wires. However, it was not feasible to bring electrical wires and poles deep into every village. That's why he wanted to eliminate the need for direct wires and use the earth itself as a conductor, transmitting electricity wirelessly to the entire planet. At that time, Tesla referred to his vision as turning the earth into a giant power generator. In the newspaper, a comprehensive article appeared in which we can see a total of 16 applications of wireless electricity by Tesla. The first item is translated as direct broadcasting. The second item is translated as providing wireless energy globally 24 7 The third item is translated as a personal blog specializing in real-time news and sharing individual creative products with the world. The fourth, fifth, seventh, and eighth items are translated as unmanned motors, automatic control, and GPS positioning systems. The sixth item is related to communication with Mars. The ninth item is called Starlink, a universal internet-based telephone system. The 15th and 16th items are real-time messaging. It is worth noting that this information was presented 125 years ago in the 23rd edition of the Kuang Tu newspaper during the Qing Dynasty. Afterwards, Tesla first invented a type of remote-controlled light bulb. However, the wireless transmission distance was only a few centimeters. Tesla decided to abandon this type of bulb and continued to invent the more powerful Tesla coil. Tesla then further conceived that by combining the coil with a tall tower, the tower could continuously transmit electricity to the ground and transmit electrical energy. Essentially, this energy was the natural energy available on Earth. Tesla proceeded to conduct experiments with light bulbs around the power tower. When the coil was activated, the light bulb indeed illuminated. Therefore, the 16 future applications mentioned by Tesla in the article were not mere speculation. He had conducted actual experiments and had a clear plan, which involved going to Long Island. His plan was to build a sufficiently tall and large tower to harness and distribute energy worldwide, known as the Wardenclyffe Tower or Tesla Tower. 
It is worth noting that the type of light bulb Tesla disregarded was the fluorescent bulb that we still use today. In 1901, construction of the large-scale power tower began. However, funding issues posed difficulties. The initial plan was to build a tower standing 152 meters tall, but it was later reduced to 57 meters due to financial constraints. Despite the reduced height, the construction still faced challenges and consumed all of Tesla's savings and assets. Most importantly, this endeavor took four years to complete. Throughout those four years, Tesla relentlessly simulated ideas in his mind to find ways to generate energy, receive energy, and reduce the tower size. He posed questions, such as whether the tower could be replaced with a balloon or other alternatives. In the past, the simulated results within the brain always closely aligned with reality. However, this time when Tesla incorporated the entire Earth for examination, he discovered that predictions and reality were difficult to reconcile. Once again, he encountered a series of seven consecutive failures, continuously undermined in each attempt. He was compelled to follow in the footsteps of Edison back then, engaging in continuous experimentation and immense calculations within his mind, consuming every aspect of his mental faculties. Tesla struggled with depression throughout an entire year, until in 1906, he underwent a transformation for the third time. Tesla seemed to resemble the moment of inventing the electrical system, where every mental projection became clear. Tesla had to return to New York to forget about money, because with money, his tower and his dreams would surely be realized. However, upon his return to New York, he discovered that no one wanted to invest in him anymore. During his isolation from the outside world, a young man of the next generation had maliciously stabbed Tesla in the back with a dagger. That young man's name was Marconi, who invented wireless transmission and used a wireless telegraph to cross the Atlantic Ocean, redefining the concept of wireless electricity in front of everyone. However, it was just a truncated version of Tesla's idea. Simultaneously, the media began to mock Tesla, claiming that he was just a visionary scientist, while Marconi was the one truly capable of long-distance communication. Tesla decided to sue Marconi because he discovered that Marconi had stolen his invention called the electricity alarm. Tesla had received a patent for the electricity alarm before his trip to Long Island, and he had publicly demonstrated it. This was just a small part of Tesla's overall idea for developing Long Island. Initially, the court ruled in favor of Tesla. However, after three months, the court changed its mind and ruled in favor of Marconi. The lawsuit lasted for over 35 years until Tesla's passing, and only then did the court restore justice to him. Some believe that behind this incident, Edison acted as an advisor to Marconi. In 1904, Edison acquired shares in Marconi's company. In the same year, the patent office revoked Tesla's patents. Some also speculate that in 1943, the court intentionally waited until Tesla's passing so that his patents would become his estate, without anyone having to pay patent royalties for wireless electricity. During the ongoing lawsuit, Marconi was awarded the Nobel Prize for his invention of wireless transmission. This caused people in New York to lose faith in Tesla, and no one was willing to invest in him anymore. Tesla visited his benefactor George, but he was severely ill and bedridden. He was manipulated and forced to leave the company before his passing. From then on, Tesla lived as a recluse in New York, but he never abandoned his dreams. He continued to research, invent, earn money, invest, and build the tower. Professor Carlson discovered that from this point onwards, peculiar rumors about Tesla began to circulate. It seemed that there were hands behind the scenes molding Tesla, turning him into an untrustworthy fraudster. And what about Tesla himself? He had lost the support of his benefactor, George. It appeared that he also wanted to capitalize on the attention-grabbing controversy to attract investment. However, ultimately, all his efforts were unsuccessful. So, is there any truth to the origin of the theory that Tesla was an extraterrestrial? Was Tesla smeared? 
Let's continue exploring the remaining part of his life to find the answers. As time went by, when Tesla was 61 years old, he could not afford to pay his rent and was taken to court by the hotel. The court ruled that Tesla had to use his sole remaining asset, the Wardenclyffe Tower, as collateral. The hotel demolished the tower, and Tesla sold the scrap metal to get some money. However, it was an invention that Tesla had poured his heart into for the benefit of humanity. He became destitute and started suffering from the same mental illness he had in childhood, with horrifying hallucinations resurfacing. He remembered his brother, Abafi, his parents, and Professor Paschal, as well as Edison and his benefactor, George. Tesla was kicked out of one hotel and found another place to stay but never gave up. As long as he felt a little better, he would throw himself wholeheartedly into inventing. During this period, he invented a miraculous fanless turbine for cars, a type of turbine that could increase fuel efficiency to over 85%. However, lacking support from his benefactor, George, this invention has yet to be fully commercialized to this day. In 1931, a young journalist decided to help Tesla organize a birthday celebration. On this occasion, Tesla received congratulations from over 70 leading scholars, including Albert Einstein, and he was also featured on the cover of Time magazine. Everything seemed to be getting better. However, during the press conference, Tesla made strange statements that he was inventing a motion motor based on cosmic rays. This made people skeptical and confused. Six years later, at the age of 81, Tesla was hit by a taxi and broke three ribs, but he did not go to the hospital, perhaps due to financial difficulties. Tesla had to endure both mental and physical pain for the next five years. At the age of 86, Tesla passed away alone in room 3327 at the Hotel New Yorker in New York. Two days later, the Federal Investigation Bureau arrived and conducted an investigation at the scene, examining every piece of paper and debris in the room. It is rumored that the agents at the scene saw a black cat. Later, when Tesla's ashes were brought back to Serbia, the people in his hometown said that the black cat was Tesla when he was young and it was the first time he discovered the electric spark. Tesla would constantly tell adults that the black cat in the house spoke to him, bringing him knowledge related to electricity and suggesting he capture the sparks emitted from it. That was Tesla's final story, an admirable story of a great scientist who sacrificed the alternating current patent for the benefit of all mankind. His work includes neon lights, radio, remote control transformer stations, transformers, fluorescent lights, beam energy, and many other innovations. But many people, including you and me, only became interested in the name Tesla after hearing about Elon Musk and the electric car company Tesla. Even when another person's story is replaced and spread, it is still promoted as a world genius. One night, Nikola Tesla was observing a storm at an altitude of 960 kilometers using his amplifying transmitter. Suddenly, he intercepted signals from an unidentified source, which seemed to be a series of three mathematical vibrations. After much consideration, he believed that they were coming from outer space. Suddenly, Tesla changed and began to say that the structure of atoms is similar to the solar system and that light can function as both waves and particles. However, Tesla never received any recognition or awards for the same discovery made in the previous stage. According to some researchers, the unfair treatment by the reviewers may be due to Tesla's obsession with extraterrestrials or simply because Tesla was not the type of scientist who allowed external control. This made it impossible for the government and secret agencies to utilize him. This is why many of Tesla's discoveries were not only forgotten but also rejected. Our world may not have developed as we know it today if Tesla's hidden inventions were accepted and revealed to the public. Previously, we mentioned that in recent years, due to the expiration of secrecy, the FBI has declassified many documents on its official website. Among these declassified documents, there is content from 1957 stating that Nikola Tesla is from Venus. Regarding Tesla himself, 
He believed that there is an existing base in the universe that can be utilized by humanity as long as they know how to adjust their senses reasonably. He described his brain as a receiving machine, and in the universe, there is a data storage that preserves all information. We can receive knowledge, power, and intuition from it. Although he still didn't fully understand the secret of this center, he believed in its existence. In the process of exploring Tesla's life, if we contemplate it thoroughly, we may realize something. This story reminds me of the story of Nash Jr. that we recently discussed. With Tesla's talent, if he served some other power, would he have to live such an unjust and miserable life? Why did he embrace a passion for invention and dedicate himself to humanity rather than pursuing his own self-interest? Some may argue that Tesla was foolish not to capitalize on his patents for personal gain. He did everything himself and bore the consequences. However, do we not think that without people like Tesla and their sacrifices, the progress of humanity would be affected? This is not a trivial matter. The more important question here is why deserving individuals who should be learned from and acknowledged are not placed in positions they deserve. If those who convey Tesla's story are inspired, society will experience a slight positive transformation regarding this issue. I wonder what your thoughts are. Do you believe Tesla is someone from another planet or simply someone with the ability to perceive the core mysteries of humanity in the universe? In your opinion, why has Tesla's knowledge been forgotten? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below the video. Let's stop here. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to share it with your friends to watch together. Thank you very much and see you soon.